able to repent. Our brothers gotta realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. Take a soul, stand it fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We tryna elevate. Enoch or Elijah, or the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not trapping even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Such a bloody scene, why she make it clean? For the husband come to clean. These women are tired of eating. So I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purging that spiritual house of all heaven. They think the tired, they arms are tired. Brothers, where you at? By doing what? Because you said the most high changes you, which is correct, but how does the most high change you? Bring it up! Huh? Through the what does that mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what you're missing? Because right now you have the skin on your bones. Right now you have nationality. You understand who you are. You're missing the breath of life. That's right. In other words, you are missing my brother. You are missing the laws of God. That's right. That's the only thing you're not doing. You already you already almost there. You already acknowledge that you are an Israelite. You already know who the word true God is. You already know who the Son is. Now you gotta get into the understanding of keeping these laws. That's right. You understand me? Read that for me. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Hold on, real quick. Hold that. Go to I want. In uh, Matthew 19, about um, keep the laws to inherit everlasting life. Yeah, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16 and 17. Because I'm going to show you how important these laws are. You understand? We're not just pushing it because we want to be the, the cops of Israel. We want to be the, 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 the police of, of Israel. No, we're pushing the laws because we have an understanding that when you keep God's laws, that's how you get inherent salvation. That's right. You understand me? What you got for me? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, you See that? Master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Because that's what we all want. We all want eternal life. We want rulership. Right. Do you want the other nations ruling over us forever? Look at downtown. You can see, you see look how they living. We've got big skyscrapers. Look how we living, man. We got cops running up and down the, up. the street. Got ambulances. Teach. Teach. You understand? We got to bang on buckets to get some money. We got to do, we got to do, uh, we got to do abnormal things to try to survive here. Right. And I ain't trying to knock anybody on their hustle. Right. But today is the seventh day. We ain't supposed to be buying or selling. Bring it on. But look. We not, we, the other nations ain't subject to this all day. You understand me? <laughs> we got the ambulance rolling, running up and down the hood. Why? Because somebody probably got shot. You understand me? We, or an old person probably, uh, uh, an old person probably got sick and they need to go to the hospital. Bring it out. You know the other nations, they take care of they sick. Right. Yeah, like they sick, stay in one house. Right. Something bad happened. She, she dead, now you got to call the ambulance and go to the house. But they don't get down like that. Right. So we want everlasting life. We want a new life. We want a, don't you want to rule? You understand? We are kings. We're supposed to be ruling the other nations. That's right. And that's going to be promised to us in the next life. That's, right. that's why we have to keep these laws right now in this society, bro. Right. You understand me? So read that. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. See how humble Christ was? Christ said, why are you calling me good? There's, no, there's nobody good but the Father. <laughs> That's humility. Come on. That is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if thou wilt enter into life. My brother. You said Israel. That's your name? Israel. Sage. Sage. If you want to enter into life. 
If any one of us here, even in this purple, want to enter into life, anybody over there want to enter into life, this is what we must do. Keep the commandments. Right. Now, believe on the Father. Keep the commandments. Believe on the Father and the Son only. Keep the commandments. See that? A lot of people on the, on the earth got it mixed, me, uh, messed up. They say you only got to believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost to get into, into the um, life. Bring it out. Christ said, nah, you got to believe on the Father, the Son, and keep the commandments. Right, right. Another sect of people say that they only want to keep the commandments. And they don't want to believe on Christ. Right. You, you have to do both. You understand me? Right. Revelation 14 and 12. Bring it out. <laughs> Now, I'm hold, hold that. We're going back to that. So I'm showing you how important these laws are. You understand me? Give me that. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. There go that word again. So the Ephesians was the same people that's being spoken about in the Revelations. The 12 tribes of Israel. Go to Revelation 7 to prove that. Hold that, Revelation 7. Drop that in Psalms. I'm going to show you. Because the whole Bible from beginning to end is talking about these people right here, bro. It's talking about these people right here. The 12 tribes of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You, you got that? You get to the 12 tribes. Revelation 7 and 4. What's your question? Uh -huh. Edomites. The Khazarian Empire during the Middle Ages were the Edomites that you read about in Job. Edomites. Now, the original, what you got to understand is, hold on, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to answer that question. But before, the thing is this. We can know all about the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages. We can know all about the Khazarian Empire. We can know all about who was ruling Europe before the Khazarian Empire. We can know all that. And still die because we're not keeping God's laws. That's right. You understand? Remember, our forefathers before we went on the slave ships, we knew all that. That's right. In Africa, we knew all that. Bring it out. You understand? We invented many beautiful things. You right. like music? We created classical music. Right. That's right. In the dark ages. Right. We created chess. We did a whole kind of wonderful Bring things. But yeah. The form of all yeah, the form of all things. Hold hold that. But the thing is this. We went into slavery, not because we didn't know that stuff, because we didn't keep God's laws. We were niggas. Right. We was killing one another. We was extorting Jeez. one another. Bring we was uh, having committing adultery with one, one another's wives. Bring it out. We was committing fornication. You see the whole the whole R. Kelly situation? Bring it out. We was, we was doing that. Jeez. And I'm not saying he did that. We allegedly was doing what we was doing, what he allegedly was did. You, doing, you understand me? So let me show you that real quick. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 7, and verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the Bible is only concerning the tribes of the children of Israel. Go back to Revelation 14 and 12. Bring it up. No, Revelation 14 and 12 real quick. And a seal means sealed with the laws of God. You understand me? Yeah, hold, hold that in Isaiah. Thank you for that. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 14, in verse 12. Uh -huh. Here is the patience of the saints. So the saints are still the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The Bible has not lost its thought. The, if the Ephesians were the 12 tribes of the, of the children of Israel who lived in that one city. In Revelations, the saints are still the 12 tribes of Israel. You understand me? Even way back in Psalms, the Bible is still talking about Israel. And Israel must do this right here. Read that. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. That do what? Keep the commandments of God. We must keep the commandments of God. That's right. That's the breath of life. You understand me, bro? You need the breath of life. Right. But make sure, but make sure you before you teach the commandments, make sure you keep the commandments. That's right. But okay, over time, as you study the Bible, you're gonna keep more laws. You're gonna keep more laws. Did you finish that in Revelation? Finish that. Yeah. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith 
of Jesus. You see that? So if you find yourself only believing on Christ, but you're not keeping no commandments, you are in a dire situation. I'm going to say it again. If you only believe on Christ, but you're not keeping no commandments, you are in a dire situation. You need to fix it ASAP. Because the Lord of heaven and heavens and the earth upon this earth, he's only worried about those keeping his commandments in the faith of Christ. That's right. We're not supposed to be celebrating no Christmas, right. no Kwanzaa, right. no Thanksgiving, right. no Easter. Right. We're supposed to be keeping the commandments while believing on Christ That's right. as an Israelite. Right. That's right. Come on, read what you got for me. This is the book of 1 John, chapter, this is the book of 1 John, chapter 1 and verse 3. Read and hereby we do know and hereby we do know that we know him uh -huh. if we keep his commandments. You see that? Right. It's all throughout the Bible. We must keep the commandments of God. Right. So why are these Christian churches? Why are, I hate to say even some of these Israelite congregations, they're not putting uh, uh, um, an importance on God's commandments. Bring it up. Bring it up. Huh? And meanwhile, the scriptures say that Christ will magnify the law. Right. The spirit of Christ that's in these brothers that's around you, we make sure we magnify the law. That's right. Like for the Passover. Now, hey, don't eat that. And it got, it got loving in it. Right. You understand me? That's what we do. We keep God's commands. We keep one another in check. Right. Because it's so easy. But listen, you by yourself? Sage, you by yourself? Yeah. Is there any other brothers around you or, or sisters around you that believe in what you believe in? Okay, good. Say it again. What's the name of the ministry, Sage? Bethel. Let me see that. Oh, Bethel. Where, where they where, where are they located at? Okay, good. So you so you keeping the commandments with them. But listen, that's step one. Talking about the Passover feast. Okay, pass that to somebody who don't know. Keep that, reserve that for somebody who, who never heard this before. All right, but this is what I'm saying, um, Sage. Bring it out. Now you got to elevate. Because right now, where your fridge is at? It's all, hey, it's all good that you believe. All praise to the most that you a believer. That's good. That's a wonderful thing. It's not too many of us in this earth in these last days. But again, read that again. Hereby we do know. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. Because I don't know about you, Sage, but this is one of my worst fears. I don't, snakes, I, I, I don't feel snakes, but I don't fear snakes the way I fear this. Give me Matthew chapter 7. Bring it out. Matthew chapter 7. So what we out here doing, bro? Big brother, this is what we doing. We out here teaching the commandments of God. You understand me? Because you have to acknowledge who you are on this sign. They, they, they share who you was with the, on, the, on the tribes? Okay, but once you know who you are, you have to be walking different. You have to be talking different, acting different. You understand me? Because you are royalty. The royalty don't act no type of any type of way. You understand me? Come on, what you got? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 21. Verse 20. Verse 20. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. God, Christ said, by their fruits, you're going to know who is who. You're going to know who believe and who is the devil. By their fruits, meaning by their doings. Come on. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Wow. You see that? Matthew 7 and 21. Bring it out. Read that again for him. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's the dangerous thing about this thing. It's, Christ said, not everybody that saith, Lord, Lord. Yah, Yah. Elohim, Elohim. Yahweh, Yahweh. Whatever name you want to call him. And not everybody that calls on that name shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Bring it out. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. But you have to do the will of the Father which is in heaven. 
That's right. The will of the Father which is in heaven is the laws, the statutes, and commandments. That's right. You understand me? That's what he wants to cover this earth. He wants the laws, statutes, and commandments to cover this earth. He wants his people doing what he say do. That's right. Like any father. You understand me? So it behoove you, Sage, to, to the best of your ability, you keep the laws to the best of your ability and share it with your congregation. That's, that's right. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.